Are you claiming that you are God? I'm definitely not claiming, nor have ever claimed, that I am God. There are many statements that are made in the Bible that would tend to indicate that they, I might have claimed that at some point in the past, but that is not the case at all. I have never claimed that I am God, and I never will claim that I am God, and I will never be God. I am just a normal human being, the same way as everybody else is a normal human being. I was born in exactly the same manner, I was conceived in exactly the same manner, and I am exactly the same kind of person as any other person who has ever lived on this planet. The only difference in my first century life was that I found a way to become at one with God uh, through, through a process that I discovered with God. And, uh, and that's what I am teaching, this same process of how to become at one with God. But once you become at one with God, it does not ever mean that you are God. You are a separate entity to God and you become even more individualized as you become at one with God. And the reasons for this is that God created your personality a certain way and your individuality a certain way. And you are never going to lose that individuality and personality. And so I am never going to lose my individuality or personality in, uh, in God. And God never has lost her or his individuality or personality in myself. The reality is that God existed way before I was ever created and God will probably continue to exist if I ever do pass, which I don't believe I will now. When I say pass, I don't believe I will ever not live. Um, although I won't, might not live with a physical body. Um, and the reality for that is that I feel quite strongly that once a person receives divine love to the point of a one with God, then it's impossible for that person to ever die. That person becomes immortal. So I do believe I am immortal, but I also know that there are many other people who I know, many other friends that I have, who, uh, who are all at the moment living in the spirit world, and they are also all immortal as well. So I don't have any special uniqueness or circumstances that make me unique. I am just the person named Jesus, who is an individual human, who's lived for the last 2,000 years and who has a memory of that existence.